Hello everyone and welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video. In the last video you saw us show some footage of a bow making course that we did. Well we did that at Hector Cole's workshop and the students were very lucky they got to see him make an arrow head. So here's some of that footage. It's a little bit rough but it gives you a good idea of what goes on. Doing these four bodkins, it takes me four to five minutes to form one. And that, yeah, I don't think you could get them any quicker. Um, when I'm doing them like this, of course, I'm talking, wouldn't it? They take a bit longer. Against, uh, oh. armor, against armor rather than armor. These were done with a 60-pound bow. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's arm and leg armor thickness. That's with a 60-pound bow. Those were done for the 60 pound bow, and that is body armour. Can you imagine a 120, 140 pound bow? What sort of distance? That would be about 30 yards. That's fairly standard testing distance. Is that you? No. <laughs> so if anybody says they didn't penetrate the armor, did they? <laughs> now there are uh, YouTube videos of people forging our heads uh, with a there aren't many that do it correctly to get a good head. And most of them never finish them. So there is a set procedure. Getting them right. Just the last thing that the pointers and grinders wanted to do in the medieval period we spent too long grinding and pointing them up. It wasn't economic. Started the socket, and that's where a lot of these uh, videos stop. They think that's it, it's done, but it isn't. And they're using thicker metal and uh, making hard work of it. So now I can start playing it out into a, a cone development, if you like. And the aim when the When the socket is rolled, the aim is to get that end as accurate as you can without a gap down it. You can pass that one round, you get an idea. And this is the thing that a lot of smiths find difficult because you put one hammer blow in the wrong place. one hammer blow in the wrong place it will affect the way the, hammer, the head comes out. Even changing your hammer will make a difference. So that one's nearly there now, not quite, wants to be a bit thinner.
your socket. So now that needs truing up so that it can fit on the shaft as accurately as you can. You have to fit the head on the shaft, each one individually. So that's rounded it up and uh, 3 8 diameter. And then he's cut off. Now that is where most people on the videos stop. And so there we are, it's finished. It isn't. There's one final stage. That's finished. That's ready for grinding up. And in the final stage, you put it. Yeah, it's not square, it's, it's a diamond set. Oh dear, it hurts. It would hurt, not for long. During your whole day. They would have finished the mother grindstone. Yeah. I there you go folks, I hope you enjoyed that quick look of Hector Cole forging an arrowhead. If you'd like to check out his website, it's in the description box below. And if you'd like to check out more videos, then please do look at our channel, subscribe and like, and all that other groovy stuff. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.